bed and never got to go back to it. Locked down. And there was like a nine roaming 20 foot away from it. I was like, I bet you that's a female coming to the spawn. Gotta get me another. That'll work. We are at the Bass Pro Shops booth here, and this is Championship Sunday here. Bassmaster Classic, and we are with Mr. Jimmy Houston, legendary angler, legendary angler. All right, what's going on, everyone? We have got a good one for you here. Charles and I just flew in from Texas. We got home, we hopped on an airplane, and here we are in beautiful Irvine, California. You can tell that by the palm trees, and all the Teslas behind me here. So the weather is awesome, but we are here for a Bass Pro Shops grand opening. This is an awesome day because this Bass Pro Shop is opening tonight. So you guys hop along with us. It's a really cool event. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how things go on here. So here we are, west side. There's another one. Tesla, really? Not a truck. But... Tesla's everywhere, man. Everywhere in SoCal. Now that is an awesome looking truck right there, Tesla. I mean, I know it's got the tow capacity to pull our Nitro Z21s all around the country, but there's no hitch. You need a hitch. Meet us over at the Bass Pro Shops. We'll hook it up to one of those awesome boats. All right, I'm waiting on the Uber driver. How you doing, Ahmed? Hey, those, uh, those Teslas are pretty nice, but I would never, ever trade in my Tundra for one of those things doing what we do. There it is, Irvine Bass Pro Shops, brand new. I can still smell the fresh paint and wood. There's already a bunch of people here. Let's go check it out. Wow, that's melting. Yeah, that's awesome. Brand freaking new. doors open here we're about an hour out from the official grand opening of the store they just called us over here for a team meeting I want to recognize two legendary anglers Roland Martin Jimmy
harder though you can come towards that tree on the on the right you see that tree where the pad is i get it i'd start coming towards that now if it were me yeah that's what i would do That teamwork! We didn't scream, don't look close, because this is bad. I've been showered in like 24 hours. Teamwork, he listened, we communicated. You don't think we argue all the time. All right, day three of practice. Oh, I'm coming off of sickness, so I've been grinding out here the last couple days. Uh, ugh, my voice is still kind of hoarse. Yeah, all the lakes are fishing different. And there's like five lakes to choose from, but I got one picked out where I had a really good day the first day of practice. So we're gonna head back down that way. All right, day three of practice here on Harris Chain. It's been very tough. So like for those of you who have watched the Elite Series and whenever you see Harris Chain of Lakes, you're thinking Florida, big pre-spawn fish, 30 pound sacks. We're here in April right now and it's post-spawn. They recently sprayed this place, absolutely nuked all the grass and the water conditions are terrible. So first day of practice I had probably 17, 18 pounds, which is awesome. Yesterday I had like 16 pounds. And today we're gonna fish three different lakes uh, to expand on what I kind of learned. So. There's literally, I think there's six different lakes on the chain. They're all huge lakes and they're all uh, connected by small canals. So we're gonna launch in three different spots today instead of idling through those long idle areas. Um, but this morning I wanted to start right here uh, on Harris Lake and look for a shad spot. I mean, it's April and the birds are flying around. I just wanna cruise around this whole lake this morning looking for a shad spot. they're skinny too like the state really really hurt this place spraying that other lake I'm you know I'm pretty much committed to they're all fat healthy flip fish I haven't seen fish this little the last two days. That's, that's weak sauce. Then we covered half of Lake Harris, which is the main lake here that we launch out of. And I only saw like three pods of birds. So I don't know, I've never fished a shad spawn in April, but you get right in a hurry, you know, fishing that. but. I've only saw a couple couple pods, so we're gonna work through the second half of this lake and then probably put it on the rack and get the heck out of here and expand on that south lake where I had a really good first day. So it's a long run down there. It's like an hour long run. You gotta go through a lock. So that's where my head's at right now. I mean, I'm just gonna, next 30 minutes, I'm just gonna zip around real quick and then be out.
to uh, the Apopka, which is the southernmost lake ramp on the south end here, and there are zero boats. That's a good thing, because I'm pretty much committed to this lake, so I don't want to see too many boats down here. All right, it's all flipping down here. The water's dirty, not much grass, so the only thing for them to get on are the reeds. The first day of practice, I had five, couple fours, shook off a lot of bites, but that was all on that north shore over there, and we're gonna have a south wind 35 to 40 first day of the tournament, so I need to fish the south end here today and find a few waypoints down on the south end where it's protected. Look how shallow it is, I mean, we just launched the boat. Look at all that mud back there. It's gonna work with flip and stick. All right, enough of the round reeds. We gotta fish the flat ones. I wonder how many dogs get eaten per year in Florida. I'll bet you a lot, a whole lot. I mean, think about it. Like, if you got a small dog and you live right there. Hey, buddy. Impressive. Look at this giant. Oh my gosh, what a freaking giant. Oh my gosh, what a freaking giant fish. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a freaking giant right there. Day three of practice. I rolled up, I was flipping for the last couple hours here, and I looked on the map and it looked like a little hole and it's a spring. I mean, the water got real pretty. There's eelgrass. I mean, that's a freaking, that's a six plus pounder right there on a jerk bait. Oh, now my wheels are turning because, I mean, I, an hour through the lock and it, you know, that's, a, that's an hour and 45 minutes to come all the way the heck down here. That is an absolute giant right there. My wheels are turning. Let's let this thing go. Day. We are working hard on the Harris chain. I mean, if you look at this right here, if you're just on this big giant lake, there's one, two, three lakes that I'm gonna fish in here, and then we started this morning down on this lake. So it's a big chain, and you gotta see it all. That concludes three days of practice. And on paper, I had I had a really good practice. I mean, the first day I had like, I don't know, 17, 18 pounds and 16 pounds. And then today I had a six pounder, but all those fish I caught the last three days were spread out throughout the Harris chain that you just simply can't fish them all in one day of the tournament, especially with that 30 mile an hour south wind coming. So 
I'm gonna go home, chill with the dogs. We got an off day tomorrow, so I can really come up with a game plan and hopefully I choose the right area of these, these lakes and uh, try to stay out of the wind a little bit. But if I can put it all together on the first day and we survive the first day, it'll be smooth sailing from there.